Mm -hmm. All right. So now that photograph, first of all, isn't that an amazing daffodil? The one that I focused on, um, yeah. it's so light. I mean, the, the, it, I think they call that a pink daffodil. Um, it just, it just took my breath away. And so what I did was um, I set up right next to me, I set up a stool with a uh, small little honey jar that I put flowers in. And I played around with this, this effect. And um, that is the first technique that we're going to look at. And if you can, you can, uh, in your room where you are, if you can find anything, it doesn't have to be pretty. It can be a pencil sharpener. It can be a lamp. It can be a glass of water. It can be anything. And you're going to have to put it like six to eight feet away from you. That's, that's, that's going to be our subject. And I have my <laughs> stool with the same daffodils set up right in back of me. Um, that, that maybe you can see if I move out of the way. They're right, it's over so there. So now what we're, I'm gonna try to get, get the light from the window. Um, so what we're going to be, it's called portrait. And within the portrait, this is in the camera, this is called stage light. We're gonna be doing stage light and stage light mono. And um, I, before we start, I just wanna, I know we all have different phones and um, the, these options are available in um, iPhone 7 Plus, iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 10s. Okay. And if you have an iPhone 10, it also supports portrait mode for selfies with a front facing camera too. So um, you can spot, if you have a 10 or more, you can spotlight yourself. I can't do that because I have an eight. Um, if you do not have, you have an older phone, you can focus on the close-up, the close-ups um, of, of this. You can't do this, um, this portrait, this portrait mode. Okay, so in order to do this, we're going to, let's read through this first. These are all the instructions. We're going to open the camera select portrait mode, and then we're going to go to stage light and stage light mono. Now the difference between stage light and stage light mono, this over here, this photograph is harsh, is stage light, but it's not as dark as it could get. The flowers are in color. Um, this is stage light mono, which is a black and white photograph. It's the same subject, but it's a black and white photograph. So uh, what we're going to do is we open the camera. We're going to, I'm gonna show you this, select portrait mode. I'm gonna show you how to select the stage light or stage light mono. Now this step, adjust the distance between the phone and the subject so that the viewfinder darkens. That's the tricky step. And that's what we're going to really practice today. This step here is not as easy as it sounds. And then when you get it just the way you want, you're going to tap the shutter. All right. So I'm going to now share my phone. All right, come on you. There we go, there's my phone. And I'm gonna open up my camera. Here I am. Well, that's, look at that. There's a word for that. Does anybody know that word when it goes on forever? <laughs> Infinity. It starts with an R. Anyway, um, so down on the bottom, you'll see we have these choices. Photo, video, all these things. I'm gonna take it to, <clears throat> Um, portrait right here. Now up here we have something called natural light and we have this little cube and all these other choices. If I take my finger 
you can see that we have all these different choices, natural light, studio light, contour light, and all these things you, we can try. Um, stage light, that's what we're going to do first. And then this is stage light mono. I so don't have a portrait. Well, who is saying that? That's Dottie. I have video, photo, square, and panel, but I don't have portrait. How do you okay. get it? Okay, Dottie, you probably have a seven or a six or a five phone. Seven. No, I also I've, have a six. With okay. No, if you don't have the plus, I think that's the problem. I don't have portrait either, but I, um, but I don't have a plus version, you know. Plus means that the phone is larger and it has seven plus has this and an eight plus has this. Well, I think and I have an eight, but I don't have a plus on it. That's it. That's it. It has to be a little bit bigger. Okay. Well, let me just show you what this can do. But then, but in the meantime, if you don't have portrait, you can use some of these same techniques for close-ups. All right, because we're going to be we're going to be doing that too. So I I'm in portrait and now I'm in stage light. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn around. I don't have stage light. I have contour, natural light, studio light, contour light. That's it. You don't have stage light. What kind of phone do you have? Well, it's an iPhone. <laughs> oh, you, you okay? Is it a larger phone or a smaller phone? It's kind of a medium. Okay. I, well, we'll have to check and see what kind of phone you have in yeah. order to, but I would assume that it's, 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 um, it's not a plus. Okay, I'm going to show you how this works. I'm going to turn around toward the uh, subject. And there it is. And what I want you to do, do you see the circle that's around the flowers? Now, as I, I move in and out of this, you're going to notice that the background turns dark. Do you see how it just turned dark? Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so now I'm gonna pull back and it's light. And if I go in toward the subject, the background is going to get light. And there it is, I mean, get dark. And when it's dark, I'm gonna click, oop. I'm gonna pull back and forth. There we go. So that, that photo really didn't catch it. So I'm now gonna delete it. Delete photo. Let's try it again. Oh, neat. Okay, let's try it again. There we go, we got it. Okay, so that, that's a nice photo right there. Now, Another thing you can do, even if, you, if you're not in stage light, let me get, we're going to keep this photo because we are going to edit it. But let's do a photo, a close-up out of portrait. Okay, let's go back. Janie, can I ask you one quick question? Absolutely. Anytime you can interrupt. Yes. Okay, what is stage light mono versus let, stage light? Let me, okay, so let's go to... <laughs> Stage light mono. Here I am. Oh, this is good. So that's stage light. Here we are in stage light mono. Let's take the same photograph in stage light mono, okay? Here we go. There are the flowers. Now- Oh, I'm, it's black and white. Yes, I'm going to tap right in the center of that flower and it gets a little square around it. There it is. I'm gonna take that picture. And there it is. What I did was to take this picture, I tapped on my screen, on the phone screen right here, and that's where the focus is. Oh, so theoretically, okay. now I'm going to, looking at this photo, I'm gonna go down to edit, and ed anybody's phone can do this, okay? I'm gonna go down to edit and click on edit, oops. And, edit. All right, hold on. <clears throat> I 
I hear people taking pictures. That's awesome. What I'm hoping is you will, I'm going to give you my, um, uh, my phone number and, uh, and, and if you send me your photo, if you send me a photo, I will share it on the screen. Okay. So here we are in photos and there's that last picture I took. And what I did was I tapped on the, when I took this picture, I tapped on the screen right here and it focused right in on this photo, uh, on this piece when of you, the cloud. When you say tap, do you mean with your hand or with that little mouse? No, with my finger. Oh, okay. With my finger on my phone screen. Thank you, Jackie. Yeah. And, and what that does is it, um, that's the point in your picture, in your photo, that the camera will focus on. So you take your finger, I'll show you on the screen, you take your finger and you tap uh, right on your screen where you want the, the sharpest focus to be. Can you see that? Yes. Okay, all right. So now I'm in photos and I wanna edit this and I wanna show you how kind of clear this, hopefully this will be. I'm gonna click on edit in my phone and you can do this on any, any phone. Uh, now this happens to be portrait mode, but this will work in any in in photo. I'm going to go down to this crop tool here and click on it. And you see these four corners here. Yes. Um, if you tap on the screen and and move the the four corners. And I have a screen cover on mine, so it's a little hard, but it will work eventually. There we go. I can really get in close. And you can work on your composition. And maybe I even want to get closer. So you can play with this. And also you can see I have the, gr the grid on here. I have my camera set with the grid on. So it helps you. It's the rule of thirds. I think that's what it's called. Um, and maybe I want to make it a little bit wider. Jenny, how do you angle it if it if, if it tries to straighten it based on, uh, you know, a table or something. Yes, yes. Okay. I know how to do that. So what we do is we're going to go up and hit edit again. That's a good question. Now, you're going to angle it or change sort of like the tilt of it right down here where I'm wiggling. It's the crop tool, but it also rotates it. So if I tap the crop tool... I get this square, right? But do you notice this thing down at the bottom? See where I'm wiggling? You, you can flip your picture, you can flip your photo, you can reverse it these three ways, but this is where you change the tilt, watch. Hello. Very good. Yo, whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> Oh, now, my, my friend Karen Olczewski, who taught art in the elementary school for many years, at least 25 years, she, she really, she taught me about Photoshop and she taught me a lot of this stuff. And she said, when, for example, if we go down, this is a great time to show you. Let's go down to, well, if you have a photo open, open one of your filters. I'm going to open up this filter while we're here. And you can see down here, there, there are all these filters that you can use. Well, this is actually, <coughs> this is not what I want to show you. I'm going to hit cancel. This is not what I want to show you. I'll show you, I'll show you it with another photo. All right. So this is, this, this happens to be portrait stage mono. Now, what I'm going to do is go back to my camera. And since a lot of you have uh, a camera that doesn't have portrait, um, I'm going to open up my camera and let's just work with photos and see what we can do with photos. Here's photo. 
So I'm going to go back to um, my subject. And I'm going to try to get a real close up. I have to pull this closer. There we go. So let's see, here's my favorite. So just uh, as an example, if I wanted to focus right on this, I think this is called a pistil. Does anybody know the parts of a flower? <clears throat> I believe it is with a yeah. stamen. A stamen, thank you, thank you. So I want to focus right on that thing there. What I'm going to do with my finger right on the screen of the phone is tap right on that. And you should also see a little sun. And if you see that sun, you can make it brighter or darker. And my friend Karen O oh, at the art teacher at school told me that whenever you have a setting like this, the best way to figure out what you want is to go to the extremes first and then decide what you like the best. Now the, the, the phone has artificial intelligence, AI, so it will, it will select the setting that it thinks is the best. But again, you, it's, it's up to you. And also you can uh, pinch your screen, you can get in closer if you pinch your screen. So I am using my fingers to like pinch on the screen, pinch, open and close. So let's see how close I can get. Let's see. Now I've, I've pinched my screen so that I'm really close into the flower and I'm gonna tap the stamen and that's where I wanted to focus and I just saw the camera focus and now I'm gonna to try to steady my hand and hit the shutter, okay? And then that's the picture. Wow. Has everybody, is, try, is everybody trying it? Yeah, yes. it's great. Yay! I still have a problem with yes, the portrait. When I did the stage light, it didn't go black in the background. Okay, I know what that is. And that is, that's what I want to stress. It's not easy. What you have to do is you have to very carefully move in and out. I'll show you, you can see my little picture of over there. What I do, what I had to do is I had to really pull it in and out and wait until I got, it took me five or six times to get what I wanted. It's not easy. Oh, okay. But, but you can do it. You can do it. Oh, so you have to get pretty close. It's weird though. See, it tells me move farther away and then it tells me get into stage light and I don't, so. You have play with it. That's okay. what I, because that's the only way I figured it out myself. <laughs> okay. I mean, I would do it, yes, I would do it occasionally. It would like be perfect. And it's like, wow, that's a nice photo. How did I do that? But I really <laughs> didn't understand how I did it. And I thought this, I have to do better. So. I feel like I figured it out and it just took practice going in, pulling away and watching the background and seeing when it got dark and then hit the shutter. And you I, might have to do it. Thank you. Times. Hey, hey, Janie, you can do it on, uh, I've got an I-6 and when you're focusing on the object, uh, if you put your finger on the screen, then suddenly a, a box appears right there. So yes. even, even on the older phones, you can to some extent do it. We, um, <clears throat> on the older phones, we don't have the portrait mode, but you can, you can sort of accomplish that the same way. Yeah, you, you can. Want... And Tom, can okay. you pinch? Can you use your Yes, yeah. yes, okay. yes, I can, and I did. And I want to say I can also on the five. Yeah. Excellent. And I have all of the features you're talking about, but it's not in portrait. I can okay. do all those things. So I'm going to take this one and zoom in. Beautiful. Hmm. My hands are shaking. And so, all right. Wow. So here's, here's a photo. And that, that's a pretty, I mean, it's not symmetrical, but oh well. Yeah. Um, can you see my face too? No. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to Yes. Yeah. 
Okay. Although, although Jane, because of the light from the window, you're a little dark. Yeah. You, yeah. So I can't, I can't really see the expression. Okay. 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 And your face is in a little box on the side. That's right. That's right. Okay, okay good. So.